Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a product by Flexispot which is called their Desk Riser M17. And this is a product that's gonna allow me from go from sitting at my desk to standing up. For those that don't know or haven't watched my videos before, I'm an illustrator and I spend pretty much all my time sitting at my desk hunched over. And when I get into a product, product, project, I spend way too much time like this, like full on hunched at my desk. And because of that, I have really bad shoulder pain and since I turned 25, I've started getting awful back pain and I never had that before. But now, no matter what I do, I have really bad back pain and I think that is a lot to do with the fact I spend so much time sitting at my desk hunched over. I'm gonna stop rambling, otherwise I will be here all day and I'm gonna open this product up. So let's get it open, set it up, and then I'm gonna leave it a few days, have a proper go with it, give it a proper use, and give you my honest opinion of whether I like working at a standing desk and also the product in general like do I like it what do I think about it I'm gonna be honest like I've said and I'm rambling so much let's go so as per usual it took me a very long time to get into the box it always does also the box is very large this is a slightly smaller than double bed this is on so for perspective it is a big box which is to be expected because obviously I want it to carry my iMac and my laptop and go on my desk but I don't know, things always seem to look bigger in my tiny space, but it's packaged very well. Um, I can see it's well looked after in here. And this is me trying to figure out how to get things out of the box. So it comes with a little note and then it also comes with the instructions. I am someone that doesn't usually read instructions properly, but I did with this one just because I wasn't sure if I'd have to screw anything in. But luckily I didn't. It's literally a take out of the box and it's ready to go type situation which are my favourite products because I always seem to ruin things or make mistakes in the building stage and I didn't have to build anything with this. I just took it straight out of the box and it was ready to go. It seemed quite a lot lighter when it wasn't in the box. I'm not sure why. I think maybe the large box just gave me this illusion that it was gonna be super, super heavy but it really isn't too heavy. Not compared to my iMac that I unboxed last week, that was heavy, but this was okay. So I'm just popping this on my desk now and this is without the little extra shelf for the keyboard. So I then just did a quick double check that it can carry the weight of my iMac and it can. I knew it could, but I just wanted to be extra sure. Um, it can carry actually 15 kilograms of weight on that shelf. So it was no problem at all. But I got a bit excited so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it with my laptop and just experiment with rising it and here's me looking very happy and excited. And it's so easy, it's just a lever on the side, you just pull up and then it goes in. And then I thought, I'm going to put the keyboard tray in and just see how this works too. So you just unclip both the sides and you literally just slide it in. Should take about 5 seconds, I'm being a bit silly and can't see where to slide it in but it's really easy. And then once it's in, you just clip it in to make sure it's secure. So this is it when it's at its lowest level, so it's on like the sitting function. And it actually surprised me because it makes it more comfortable to use my iMac than it was without this. And I think it's because a lot of people use stands for their iMacs and um, monitors in general. Like when I bought my iMac, I actually nearly bought a stand for it to keep it up a little bit, just so it's more eye level, so it's more comfortable to sit at and this actually lifts it to the perfect height. So finally, this is my little setup. So I have my iPad on the keyboard tray and then my iMac on the top. Also fits a hard drive and probably some other bits too when I get settled in. But for now, this is perfect. This is exactly how I like to work and it's just, it felt very natural. It felt very secure straight away. As you can see, I'm putting normal pressure on my iPad. It, doesn't shake around, completely sturdy, iMac's pretty safe, so is the iPad, everything feels very secure and safe. I knew it was gonna be secure, but I must admit the one thing I was a little bit worried about is it just shaking or not feeling completely safe because obviously I'm putting on all my equipment onto this, but no, it feels perfectly secure and I feel very safe keeping them on here. So I'm just working on a little jungle piece at the moment, just a fun little portfolio illustration, but I'm just playing around with some colours and some layouts with this, but also just experimenting with standing because it felt, it actually felt very natural, which surprised me. I thought it would feel a little bit, a bit odd, but no, it feels pretty natural and 
I think I'm gonna really like this way of working actually. So I quickly wanted to pop in and just say a few more things about this now. I've used it for a while, using a different camera, audio might sound a bit different, but number one, purely aesthetic, it goes so nicely with my desk. I don't think the visuals actually do it justice, but it just looks like it's built for the desk. White furniture, goes really nicely, it looks really sleek and I didn't really know. You know, it's hard to see materials and colours in a, when you're ordering online, so that's really cool. Um, number two, I think most people would use the keyboard adjustment shelf. So the keyboard shelf, most people would use that for a keyboard, obviously. I've been using it for my iPad. I have the 12.9 inch iPad and I draw on it as a graphics tablet connected to my iMac. I use Sidecar at the moment, AstroPad, whichever one I choose to use. Basically, no problems whatsoever. It's really sturdy. Now, I wouldn't be saying this if it didn't feel completely sturdy because as you know, I bought this iMac a week ago, spent a lot of money on it and I definitely wouldn't want it crashing and falling, but I don't have to worry about that. Holds it really well. I'm pretty sure I would hold any monitor. Always best to check the um, weight requirements, but holds the iMac perfectly fine. And it also, the keyboard shelf holds the iPad so I can use it like I like to use it as a graphics tablet when I'm not using my keyboard. So that I love. Also really easy to set up. As you saw, it literally took me no time at all, straight out of the box. It worked, press the lever, rises, press the lever, rises down. Um, the shelf is about five seconds to slide in and out and clip in. And again, super easy. And then I wanted to make it a little bit more homey. I just got this little plant in Sainsbury's. I think I'm gonna hang up in the corner. And then I have my cheese plant, which is first ever split in a leaf, which makes me really happy. And I also put this little guy on the stand as well, because I thought he looked quite sweet up there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do want to buy this product, I've put a link in the description. I've also put a link to the FlexiSpot website because they do standing desks and lots of different larger solutions too. So if you want to upgrade your office space, they do loads of different options, it's really cool. I've put them all in there so you can have a little browse. Um, let me know if you want to use this product or if you have used it, or if you use a standing desk in general. I find, I know the concept of sit-stand desks has actually been around for a very long time, but it's still fairly new to me and I find it exciting that we can kind of customise our office spaces and have more time standing and less time just sitting down all day. So it's quite exciting. I'd love to know what you prefer. Do you use a standing desk already? Do you want to use one? Are you perfectly happy sitting down? Um, let me know and let's have a talk about it. And if you like videos on illustration working from home, the next video I'm gonna do is gonna be another process video. So if you like those kind of videos, um, subscribe. It really does mean an awful lot to me. Every time I see a new subscriber, I get really happy. So I would love to have you along on this YouTube journey that I'm doing. And yeah, I'm rambling now, but yeah. I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Bye.